Our class has been learning about the Gettysburg Address. On November 19, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address. About 1,500 people gathered to hear it. His speech was 272 words, and he gave it in two minutes. President Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address because he did not want us to let the soldiers die in vain. He also wanted us to remember the soldiers and what they did. If Abraham Lincoln were alive today, this is how we would tell him he did not fail. Dear President Lincoln, everything worked out. We are still one country, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sincerely, Zach and Aiden. Dear Mr. Lincoln, everything you were fighting for worked out. The country is back together. I just wanted it up. Dear Mr. President, the country stayed together. In the South was rebuilt. Everything is good. Sincerely, Xander and Jake. Dear President Lincoln, everybody is free. Everything worked out. Dear Mr. President Lincoln, we have been learning about you in school. We think you are a great president. Don't worry, we will remember the soldiers who died. Sincerely, Emily and Amir. Dear Mr. President, we are sorry so many soldiers died, Union and Confederate. We still have soldiers died today, and it is very sad. Thank you for being brave. Sincerely, Kira and Megan. Dear Mr. President Lincoln, don't worry, everything is going well. The state stayed together. Sincerely, Jalen and Dayton. Dear Mr. President Lincoln, thank you for freeing the slaves. Thank you for being a great president. We will never forget you or the soldiers who died in the Civil War. From Presley and Gracie. First, going 70 years ago, all four of us live on this continent, a new nation. Conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that the nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. That from these on our dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.